is my internal nose is always blocked. Will this affect when I try to sing using my head voice, nasal voice? Also, is head voice and nasal voice one and the same? This is a good question. It's something that uh, voice coaches come across from time to time. Um, but there's really two questions in here. One is in regards to, uh, uh, she says, well, when she sings, uh, she gets like nose blockage and stuff. That could actually be a septum issue. That could be uh, uh, something that you may want to have the doctor take a quick look at. There are people that can't breathe through their nose, and it, it it's not a. I don't think it's it's not a big deal. It doesn't prevent you from singing, but it can be just sort of a minor, a minor annoyance. All right. Your ability to breathe through your nose and, and and what have you. So that's one issue, but I don't want you to be alarmed by it. But you might have a doctor take a look at it. Maybe they can open you up a little bit. Two, the other question in here, which is really very common, and that is um, when I go to my head voice or my nasal voice, uh, uh, is nasal sounds and head voice sounds, are they the same? Okay. Uh, no, yeah, they're two different things. Here's what happens. Here's what happens. When students begin to train the content, they begin to train and they begin to get a little better. One of the first things that happens is the um, when they release into the vowels, they begin to hear amplified frequencies, right? Which is what we're going for. And oftentimes, as the voice gets healthier and more coordinated, those amplified frequencies are brighter. They tend to be a little bit, a little bit more pingy, more ringy, a little bit more brilliant in their in their in their uh, in their frequencies. May. See, that has a lot of amplified, bright harmonics in it that are different than speech, as you can hear. It's got a lot of. Um, Okay, you know, to the right of the spectrograph, a lot of amplified clusters of brighter harmonics and overtones. I think you guys get it. And hearing these amplified, brighter harmonics in the voice for a beginner is a new thing. And 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 when you hear the, you hear your voice and your body making new sound colors, it um, until you get used to it and you get some feedback from a good coach that assures you that it's okay, it can create confusion. Right. Um, oh gosh, I, I hear brighter harmonics. I hear new colors, which is what you want. That's a good thing usually. But I'm new. I'm a beginner. I'm sort of naive. Yeah, I'm you know I don't know if that's right or not. Um, so that's sort of the that's sort of the environment that we're talking about when you get a question like this. And then the other thing that happens for some strange reason is that people are, are already somewhat familiar with a nasal sound, okay? This would be a nasal sound. Not real good at my nasal sounds, but... A nasal sound is very honky, very honky, okay? But a nasal sound color also has amplified brighter harmonics. So both the, the singing vowel and the nasal sound color, which you wouldn't use for singing, you might use it in a character voice at Disney, but you wouldn't use it for singing. Um, they do have something in common. They both have amplified brighter harmonics. So the beginner naive student begins to release nice singing vowels and they get confused and they think uh uh uh, uh i think that's uh nasal that is that nasal I, I think it's nasal is that nasal and usually it's not usually it's not nasal so the moral of the story is as a beginner when you begin to get healthy and you begin to amplify your singing vowels be better one of the symptoms of getting better and getting good at this is that your vowels will be a little brighter. It'll be like somebody turned up the treble knob. 
All right, and, you, and that's what, that's what you want. You want that, and be really super careful not to confuse that sound color with nasality. All right, and I talk about this in the course in the book. All right, uh, bright harmonics, bright, beautiful, amplified singing bell harmonics is not nasality. Okay, if it's a sound color that you can imagine using in a song or hearing it in a song in your singing and you can honestly say to yourself yeah uh, Whoa. if you can say yeah okay I can, I can imagine hearing that vowel in a song singing through that vowel then then it's then it's probably right all right but if you're if you're really truly nasal it's not necessarily it doesn't necessarily sound that great okay so, so listen to the sound colors that you're creating and, and, and begin to practice being judgmental about, about the sound color. Practice going for colors that you like and that you know are probably correct. And if it's really super nasally, it's different. Okay? Maybe I'll give you some A-B testing here. This is a good sound. This is a nasal sound. Imagine that that would be in singing in a song. Probably sound good. The second one doesn't sound good. That's how you know. All right. Now, uh, another thing that can create some confusion here is that the very the first warm up, the warm ups that I was referring to earlier in this broadcast, track and release, release and sustain, they're predicated on buzzing on nasals. <laughs> Okay, so we're buzzing on the con on nasal consonants, the, the pho phonetics of it, M, N, and N, G. They happen to have a name. They're called nasals, and yes, they sort of involve the nose a little bit, I suppose, but don't confuse that with when you then release to the vowel. Mm -hmm. All right, I was buzzing on the nasal consonant, but when I released my vowel, it wasn't nasal. Right? So that's another thing that can get people, beginners, down the path into this confusion, all right, uh, is that because they're buzzing on nasals, they sort of conclude, oh, then well, I'm releasing a nasal sound. No, you're not. You're not. You're releasing a nasal sound when it sounds ugly and sounds nasal. But if you release it and it's not nasal and it's sort of a nice amplified color that you haven't heard before, but it's kind of, you can imagine it in a song, it's not nasal. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. That was easy.